Hello, hello, friends. I am here for announcement number two. I know I told you guys that in like two weeks, I would tell you all three announcements, but I underestimate the amount of work that require for me to get everything ready to tell you guys. So I gave you announcement number one a couple weeks ago. Uh, that was a lot of changes that are going on with Eden. So if you missed that one, go back and watch that one. It's a live video I did a couple weeks ago. And today is announcement number two. And I have one more that I'm just going to be realistic with you guys. It will probably take a couple weeks for me to get all the work done to finish that as well. But hello, Casey. How are you? If you're logging in, say hi so i can say hi back to you and if you're watching the replay say hashtag replay so i know you watch it uh i know a lot of you watch it because a lot of you either send me messages or talk to me and said hey i watched your video and i'm so excited so yeah i am so so excited for this announcement because this is something that i actually started a while ago and i keep pausing and coming back to it and Right now, I am, and here it goes, I am relaunching the podcast, okay? But it's going to be a little bit different now. Um, so if you've been following along the podcast journey since I started in January 2021, so this is going to be 2021, 2022, 2023, so this is going to be the fourth year now. Uh each year, I kind of went through a different season with the podcast, but not only with the podcast, but with my own kind of growth journey, uh, faith journey, mindset journey. I was a completely different person four years ago than what I am today. And you can see as you hear the podcast, um, it's all there, like my first episode, I have like 42 episodes up and then I have three new, so 45 now, um, three new that went uh, went live this morning for you to watch it. Listen to, I guess, not watch it. You can't see me, just listen. But um, I have all the episodes live, so you can watch all, well, you can listen to all 45 episodes. But you can see the journey where the first season was really, really focusing on me learning a scripture and sharing with you and teaching what I was learning along the way. Season number two was a very hard season for me because it was a season where I found that a lot of what I learned in scripture is completely different than what the Christian people that go to church would tell me that what they what church was. So that was a gap in between what Christian culture is versus what a scripture says. And it was a very difficult season in my own life because I'm like, I always thought this was what church was supposed to be. But the Bible tells me a completely different story. And that season, I only had a, a handful of podcast episodes because it was hard. And every time I released an episode, it was very um confrontational and people didn't like it and i didn't know how to handle that um i am very confrontational i always been so a lot of you are probably rolling your eyes and saying you love confrontation what are you talking about <laughs> but it was difficult okay just go with me <laughs> so season three it was all about like getting that identity in you and taking care of yourself because I always learned that you cannot um, love yourself, you cannot take care of yourself, that this is selfish. And I learned that like as if that's what a scripture says. And let me tell you, it's not. <laughs> so last season was very much about filling your cup so you can let your cup overflow and you can add value to the life of others. And then now season number four, I'm ready to be that confrontational person that God made me to be. <laughs> and I'm ready to go into the really strong limiting beliefs that are implemented in people of good faith. Okay, so 
I do cite a lot of the Bible because that's where I get a lot of my inspiration from. But even if you are not um, a, a person of faith, if you don't have a religion that you go to, you will be able to understand that because you will know things like, for example, just a simple example. Oh, if you're a mom, you have to take care of your kids before you can even think about doing anything for yourself. Or if you're a wife, you have to make sure that your whole house is fine before you can uh, go and relax or have some quiet time, right? So those types of things, they are very much implemented inside of the church and in people of faith, but they are also implemented just by regular culture. So the season four is all about attacking the false identity that the enemy wants to put on us to destroy our lives and be reminded of our true identity that is on the, the plan that God gave for us, that is in our creator, that is on what God made us to be. And that identity, I'm just going to tell you right now, is to be the image of God, to have dominion over earth, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? And I had years of problems with people in the church about a man, a woman should be submissive to the man. That's not what the Bible says at all. I'm just going to say it right now. So if you don't like it, don't, don't comment, hey, on me, just go talk to the creator because it's in the Bible. <laughs> okay. We are equal. We are equal in value. We are equal in dominion. That's how it is. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to get out of my soapbox. But uh, th this whole series is going to be attacking those lies that we believe, not only uh, on our conscious mind, but in our subconscious mind, because we are conditioned on a lot of those lies that keep us in chains that's why the podcast is called The Chain Breaker, because we're going to break those chains so you can get on living a beautiful life, okay? Let me tell you, shit happens. And I'm sorry if there's a kid, earmuffs, but it does happen. Life sucks sometimes. It does. Mine does, your does, everybody else's does. So I'm not saying on a dreamy, well, you're just going to live this beautiful life and everything is going to be perfect because that's not how it is in this side of heaven. But when we know our identity, our circumstances are not defining us. What defining, What is defining to us is who God says we are. And that has nothing to do with our circumstances. That has nothing to do with what is your career. If you are or are not married, if you're, if you have or do not have children, if you, how much money you make, uh, all of those things, there are circumstances, there are assignments, but they are not our God-given identity. And this is what this whole podcast series is going to be all about. Okay. And I'm, I sat down and I already have just on top of my head, I already have an episode for each um, week all the way to the end of May. So I have a feeling that this series is going to last a long, long, long time, okay? Because we have to renew our identity and destroy the limiting beliefs that is in our brain. And we are also going to talk about science. Um, it's kind of a marriage of faith. And, and science, right? I call it faith and mindset because science is not as sexy as mindset is. <laughs> but pretty much is you got you got the scripture and you got science, okay? So we're gonna talk about how to remove those limiting beliefs that are conditioned in our brain and replace them with the truth that is gonna empower you to live the life that you were made to live, that your creator made you to live, and to have dominion over the resources that he gave you to have dominion over, okay? So it's going to be really exciting. I, As you can see, I'm like pumped up about this. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be awesome. So one last thing. Um, there, I am creating a um, kind of like an email community for this podcast. It's free. All you have to do is like put your email there and I am going to be not only giving you a podcast episode every week, I'm going to also giving you encourage, 
encouragement and just biblical wisdom, things that comes up, things that I learn along the way, um, <clears throat> and and how we can. And I'm gonna give you more tools in your email box that will help you renew your mind with your true identity. Okay, so um, you can just I I put some links in the caption. You can go ahead and. Uh, go in your favorite podcast platform, whether you have Apple phones, Apple podcast, uh, Spotify, Google podcast, there is on YouTube. So I just put it in a YouTube channel. It's a brand new YouTube channel. I just put it there and put the podcast there. So you can listen on YouTube if you don't have any of the, the phones and stuff. And I mean, everybody have a phone, but if you don't have all those apps on your phone and you just want to listen on YouTube, you can too. Uh, and then there is a link that you can go and sign up for this email. Um, the link is thechainbreakerpodcast.com. But I also put it up there so you can just click on, put your email, and that's all. Okay. So I hope you guys like it. There is going to be one more announcement that I will probably take a couple of weeks to get everything ready because it also requires technology on the back end. Uh, for me to announce to you guys so but for now I'm so so excited and I hope you guys are too and you jump in there because there's two episodes where I'm talking about like a big 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 misconception especially in the people of, of faith that is um <clears throat> yeah Casey that's what your sister tells me she's like you and Casey it's like you have the same brain <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, so um, the, this episode that I, it's like my, one of my favorite things to, to confront. <laughs> so we hear all the time, you should not follow your heart. You should not follow your heart. The heart is um, ratchet and the heart's evil and the heart's terrible. Do not follow your heart. Let me tell you, that is not what the Bible says. If you especially if you are a believer of Jesus, you should follow your heart. And I have like a whole 40 minutes episode with the biblical scripture showing you that what you've been taught, most likely if you've been taught that you should not trust your heart, um, that's wrong. <laughs> so go listen to that episode. That's like, for me, once I saw this truth, it was like mind blowing. And, and then I have another episode that is the whole methodology that I follow. That is the marriage between science and the scripture where we talking, we are talking about renewing our mind um, and how to do that. And some ideas that you can just do on your day on things that you're already doing anyway, that will help you renew your, your mind, remove the wrong beliefs and replace them with the right beliefs, okay? So this is the kind of stuff that is gonna be showing up in the podcast every week. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe once you find it on your favorite platform. If you are a person that loves faith and mindset and all this work and you like to talk about counter cultural <laughs> things, you're gonna love that. Hello, Amy, how are you? You need to tell me about your vacation. I'm excited to hear, I saw the photos. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. I love you all. I'm so, so excited for this. I hope that adds values to all your lives. And I hope more important, that helps you break any chains that you may be holding to that is standing in the way of you living your most beautiful life. Okay. I love, love, love you guys. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.